Battery technology has certainly come a long way in the last 10 years or so, and nothing showcases that better than what I'm lucky enough to be testing out today, the Jackery Solar Generator 2000 Plus. So when it comes to portable power setups, there's a lot of different options out there from solar generator kits to portable power stations to dual battery systems. You name it, I've probably tried it. And there's a couple of things that set the Jackery apart from other portable power stations or solar generator kits, in my opinion. So for the first thing, let's dive into exactly what makes a solar generator kit stand apart from a lithium power station. Now, realistically, it's pretty simple. A solar generator is just a lithium power station paired with a decent solar panel to keep the charge up to it. Obviously, a solar power is the power generator and your lithium power station is the storage option, making it a solar generator kit. But what makes Jackery so special? Well, first off, they've had a lot of skin in the game. Jackery had been around for over a decade, actually over 11 years, making these products, making solar generator kits, lithium power stations, portable solar panels, everything around portable power, these guys have made it and they've actually been world first innovators in the industry. Jackery were actually the first company to bring out a lithium power station and the first company to bring out a portable set of solar panels. Now, a big reason that I do like the Jackery Explorer 2000 is this is the first unit that Jackery have put LifePo4 batteries in their solar generator kit. LifePo4 being lithium iron phosphate. Now, lithium iron phosphate is the safest and most reliable form of lithium ion battery on the market at the moment. So you can bet that this thing is going to be safe, reliable, have loads of capacity, and last a long time. It's rated for 4,000 cycles of discharge, meaning you can cycle this thing from full to empty 4,000 times and still have 70% capacity left in those batteries, meaning this thing's gonna be going for well over 10 years. Now, while LiFePo 4 batteries may be a little bit bigger and heavier than some of their lithium ion counterparts, Jackery have actually thought of that and put some wheels and a telescopic handle on the unit so you can wheel it around wherever you're going despite the 28 kilo weight. Now, when it comes to capacity of the unit, the unit comes with a 2,000 42 watt hour capacity and if you want to relate that to amp hours it's between 150 and 160 amp hours depending on how you use it now to give you an idea of how much power i use personally my power usage fluctuates a fair bit i'll use anywhere from 400 to 600 watt hours per day that's including running my fridge 24 7 using the travel buddy every now and again the occasional on off of the inverter and also running my usb chargers and lighting but obviously that is my setup and power usage. Your power usage might be wildly different to mine. Now, one of the biggest and most standout features of this unit has to be the 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now, this is more power than most people will ever need, meaning you can take your most power hungry appliances off the grid with you with no worries whatsoever. Now, I haven't got anything that will come close to pulling 3000 watts, but what I do have is an induction cooker and an air fryer. And to be honest, I want a cup of tea and I wouldn't mind doing some chips for lunch. So I'm gonna plug these two things in and let's see if we can run both the air fryer and the induction cooker together. So we're cooking away now, we're using the induction to boil the kettle, and we're also using the air fryer to cook the chips that I've just whacked in there. And at the moment we're pulling out about 2950 watts, so just below that 3000 watt limit. Now, obviously this is a bit of an extreme example, but it does give me a bit of a chance to talk about something that I really like about the Jackery, and that's the smartphone app that they've actually got integrated to the Jackery unit. The Bluetooth function and the smartphone app work really, really well. It's a really slick and sleek sort of app. It's really, really functional. There's not much delay in the app as well. I like that. You can remotely turn on your DC and your AC outputs, as well as change a couple of really key settings in the charging algorithm of the unit. Just quickly, I'll jump into the charge settings now, and you can see I've just changed it from fast charge into quiet charging mode. Now, the quiet charging mode will drop the charge rate down by about 60%, so you'll be charging at about 500 watts, but 
This makes the Jackery charge absolutely silently. To be quite honest with you, it's not that loud as it is on fast charging mode, but in this quiet charging mode, there's an absolutely whisper silent charge and you can barely tell that it's even on. Right, so air fryer done. Let's reach in here and grab some chips out. Oh, and they look absolutely awesome. And I think me and Harper are gonna share. What do you reckon? Yeah! How cool is this being able to cook chips in the back of the ute? Yeah! Pretty awesome, hey? Yep, but the big air fryer. You want to take the air fryer camping? Yeah. See what I've started? I've, now everyone's going to want to take the air fryer everywhere we go. Thanks, Jackery. Absolutely awesome. Perfectly cooked chips every time in the air fryer. It fell. Crunchy and a nice cup of tea to go with it as well. Mm. So obviously that's a pretty extreme example. You're not going to be air frying and using induction cooking all the time, but it's really impressive that the Jackery has actually just done that. Basically, we took about 29% of the battery out just with the cooking of the air fryer and the induction cooker, which leads me into the next point, charging the Jackery. So there are three options of how to charge the Jackery. Option number one, you can charge this thing up at home on 240 volt power straight off your wall socket. That will charge at around 15 to 1700 watts and will charge your Jackery from zero to 100% in about two hours by far the quickest and easiest way to charge the Jackery. Number two is the included power adapter that you get for a normal 12 volt cigarette or power outlet for your vehicle. That will charge at about 100 watts and it will take a lot longer to charge, but this is more designed just for topping it up if you're going place to place, you can plug it in and run off your alternator while you're driving along. And of course, we've also got solar charging capability. Now, in terms of the solar panel that Jackery send, it's the Solar Saga 100 watt panel. Now, it's a very, very impressive panel, but there are a couple of things that I think they could improve on. Number one is the cable that is supplied with the unit is a little bit short in my opinion. And I'd also like to see some extra adapters, maybe an Anderson plug, just so you can utilize this panel a little bit more effectively if you've got a more complicated setup like I do. But on the whole, a couple of features about the Solar Saga panel. It has a really nice textured handle, magnetically closes itself, and the cable quality is really, really solid. Not to mention the panel quality is coated in a nice rubber poly material. It feels very much like a Raptor coating, so you can be sure that this panel is going to last and last and last as long as the Jackery wants to keep up. So you guys can see at the moment, we've got the solar panel set up. It's laying flat on the ground at the moment, but ordinarily I'd have the kickstands out aimed directly towards the sun, but it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun is almost directly above me. Now at the moment we're putting in about 94, 95 watts, and the Jackery is telling us at that rate of charge, we're gonna be taking about eight and a half hours to fully charge the Jackery back to 100%. So when it comes to the DC side outputs, you've got a 12 volt, 10 amp DC cigarette lighter output, two USB-A outputs at 18 watts each, two USB-C outputs at 100 watts each for your laptops, iPads, and heavier drawer appliances. And all the DC power is controlled by a push button switch with an LED indicator. Now guys, if you have any more comments or questions about the Jackery solar generator kit, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. Now, in terms of how we're gonna use this Jackery kit going forward, I am really excited that I'm gonna to try to be using this as a replacement for a traditional petrol and diesel generator. Now, if you're interested to see how that goes, make sure you hit the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any uploads featuring the Jackery as our off-grid generator. Guys, I hope you got some info out of this video. Get out and about and we will see you in the next one.